I'm going to show you how to do a really quick hair prep on Kira's hair. This technique is perfect for creating beautiful textured hairstyles, whether your client wants to have her hair up or keep it down. Your client can wash her hair the day before you're going to style it, but if she gets, if her hair gets remotely greasy, it's much better to wash it on the actual day. And the technique we're going to use to add texture into the hair will kind of take away any, you know, if the hair is very soft and slippery, it will give you some texture and a bit of grip for your hairstyle. So don't worry if the hair is soft and silky, if it's just been washed. This is a great technique if you don't have time to crimp the hair because you'll still get lots of root lift and volume and texture in the hair. So I'm going to use the uh, L'Oreal Volume Lift Mousse. So just taking sections of hair at a time and be very generous with the product all the way through up to the crown and then at the sides. So usually when we are using mousse to do our textured hair prep, we're just putting the mousse at the root of the hair and we use our salt spray at the mid lengths and ends. But for this technique, I've realized that it's kind of, you can get a really great re textured result without using the salt sprayer at all. And it also means that you don't have to crimp the hair. I find that the crimping can really take a lot of time. And this technique kind of does the same thing. You get that volume and you get the hair that has texture as well. So it's great if you are doing hair prep for a bridesmaid or maybe a special event and you don't have time to crimp the hair. Next, we're going to blow dry the hair and get all this product really dry and also get some volume in there. So you can section the hair and work a section at a time, getting root lift and volume in, or you can kind of take a bit of a shortcut and I'm gonna show you exactly what you can do. I'm gonna ask Kira to tip her head upside down and I'm going to give her the tangle teaser and she's going to kind of brush through the hair as I blow dry while she holds her head upside down. So can you fling everything forward for me? So once your client's upside down, just check that she's okay and she does it, if she needs to come up for air that she can. And I'm gonna give the brush to Kira. And Kira, if you could just brush through your hair as I blow dry, then it helps to minimize any tangling. So do you wanna start brushing? And you can brush the top, underneath, just brush everywhere. We don't need the nozzle for this. If your client has hair that tangles really easily, then I would definitely avoid blow drying the hair in this way. And instead, you'll need to work a section at a time as we normally would with your client sitting upright. And always check with your client first to make sure she's comfortable putting her head upside down. Do you need a break? Do you need to come up for a bit of no, air? No, no, okay. Make sure all the product is nice and dry. And then fling it all back. Lovely. And we get this lovely kind of volumized, textured result that's perfect. And now we can actually start styling and curling the hair. And the hair feels really thick and it's already got a lot of texture in there. And now you're ready to either curl or style the hair from straight.